up. So tonight we got a couple things for the new bug came in. This box right here. This is from J Bugs out of Oceanside, California. Uh, just discovered them online. I guess they're like the go-to place these days for internet parts and supplies for the bug. A um, lot has changed. Back in the day, I would just go up to BAP Imports and pick up pretty much anything that I needed, but now everything seems to be online. So uh, we'll get into that in just a second. And we've also got some mail from my buddy George out of Yuma. This guy seems to have pretty much anything and everything. Never ceases to amaze me. But he was nice enough to give me the Bible for Volkswagens. I had this as a kid, not really a kid, but as a teenager. And uh, I think everybody else has had one as well. But this is the paperback. In the Bible of Volkswagens repair, if you will. How to keep your Volkswagen alive. And he picked this up at Goodwill for six bucks. All the pages are clean, which tells me it's never been used. So that's always a plus. So what we're going to attempt to do tonight, possibly with Sonnet's help, is we're going to put in the extremely loud horn, resecure the bumpers, and possibly do some door seals. So, what we got from J Bugs is driver's side, passenger side door seals bonnet seal and a deck lid seal and I went ahead and got the wiring cover from underneath the bonnet not sure if that's going to work right now or not without the fresh air box or anything like that so but uh, yeah I ordered this from J-Bugs Saturday and today's Wednesday and it arrived it was free shipping because my order was over a hundred dollars Best I could tell, they didn't even charge tax, unless tax was already built into the price, but I did not see an item for tax. So, we've got Brazilian door seal. They stated that the difference between the Brazilian and the German rubber seals was just the quality of the rubber and the thickness. Um, Oh, accelerator cable. Can't leave home without that. I opted for the Brazilian door seals just because I'm not 100% sure that that's going to completely solve my airflow problems. I got a lot of air coming in. But I did get the German bonnet seal, so that'll be thicker. That's where a lot of my air is coming in as underneath the bonnet. Here we got the uh, wiring cover. I just kind of wedge that up in there for now. And down in here. Oh yeah, seat belts. Got rear seat belts. Actually, just put them up in the front since they're new. And transfer the ones in the front to the back seat. So, oh wow, we got California J Bug specific stickers. So, we'll definitely have to throw one of those on. A whole handful of stickers. I don't know if you can see those or not, but J Bugs. We got the lap belts with the mounting hardware and a very, which is fine, cheap, inexpensive Wolfspark emblem to go on the lap belts. So these are not real Wolfspark seat belts. That's fine.
As long as we got belts in all four seats, that's all that matters. So yeah, these things are brand new. So these are gonna go in the front. But uh, just your standard lap belt. You got two of those with the mounting hardware. And we got, uh, like I said, left and right door seals. And we should have front bonnet seal. And there should be rear deck lid seal. Which I don't think we got that. So here's our bonnet seal, looks like. Yep. So, back into it. Hood seal. Nope. Door seal, door seal. We did not get the deck lid seal. It's not even on the order. So, that's fine. Two lap belts, hood seal, door seal, go through accelerator cable. Yeah, that's fine. I might not have even ordered it. I thought I did though, but that's all good. So, anyways, that's what we're going to start tonight. So, um, probably start with passenger side door seal. Um, first time for doing all this stuff, I do know that you got to take the uh, Hinge pin out, not the hinge pin, but there is uh, I don't know how you can see that. It's pretty dark. It's uh, right there. You gotta take that pin out so the door will open and that piece will come out of the way so we can get the seal all the way around. And uh, Hold that in with some uh, silicon gasket, All right? Gasket sealant, whatever you want to call it. But uh, so we're going to work on that. Get both sides done. Um, get the lap belts in. Not sure how much we're going to get finished with today, but my main goals are door seals and this front bonnet seal. But this is, this is it. Picked it up for 2,700 bucks. Cost me about a hundred bucks right off the bat to get it registered in insurance, which isn't bad. Had to register it as a, um, I'm sorry, I had to insure it as a classic vehicle. Um, that way I don't have to run it through emissions. Um, not really sure what the differences are. Best I can tell, it's a 1600 dual port. It's definitely a dual port. The guy I got it from said he had it rebuilt about three years ago. Um, the engine code, best I can read, is an F code. So I have to see what that is. But uh, I think I might possibly have a fuel leak as well. My carburetor's kind of wet, and gas mileage isn't that great. So we'll be addressing that soon. Uh, looks like a black paint, I'm not sure. This is, uh, you know, some little things to tinker with. The horn's not hooked up. The wiring to the lights are not done correctly. Um, you can see right there, kind of just wire nutted together. And here comes Riley. Okay, so starting on the bonnet hood. I had tried just some weather stripping just to seal it up for a couple days while we were driving. Didn't really do much, which that's fine. Didn't really expect it to do a whole lot. So we'll 
get this old stuff, not old stuff, we'll get this stuff off. And we gotta still get around, we got three little holes right here. And there's little, little nipples that go in to kind of hold everything in place. We gotta get those cleaned out. Make sure our channel's clean. Best as we can. And it'll come down and around. And I believe it's gonna kind of seal up down here underneath the hood release. But my major leaks are coming from right about here. This doesn't seem like the hood is shaped to fit. So hopefully, having the proper seal in here, we'll get everything nice and airtight for the most part. Then I've got, eventually, we're gonna run some duct work here for the fresh air box if I can get one wiring cover and we've got a bunch of holes that's been drilled assuming to mount different things and to run wiring that's no longer here um, just to get those plugged up try and keep the air from coming in as much and still need to get a fuse cover for the inside uh, right now it's still kind of chilly at night so the windows are up when I drive but I still get that cold air coming in from all this. Um, plus with the windows up, it's just an extremely noisy ride from all the air and the wind coming through. Uh, give it about a month or so when temperatures are going up. It's not gonna matter because the windows will always be open when I'm driving anyways. So, but uh, that's where we're gonna start. And then I think from there, we'll get sonnet out here and uh, have her help me hook the horn up. And then uh, see how we're feeling after that. Maybe do some uh, door seals. So where we're at right now, went ahead and took the entire bonnet off, hood, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got to get it in, in that channel. So I'm just kind of lifting it up a little bit, tucking it in, I'll tap it back down as we go. I got the corner secured. I don't think I'm going to need to really glue, quote unquote, glue this down. If I can get everything in place here, get everything in the channels, across the top, down the sides and around, kind of snug it in place, we should be okay. First time ever doing this, so it's going a lot slower than I expected. So that's where we're at right now. So, like any project, you're doing it for the first time, you learn stuff along the way. So, I went along this channel, lifted it up where I could, and then kind of tapped it back down. And I've been working on this for about an hour. Still got to readjust the hood, though. Then... I got down to this point here and realized I could just slide the stripping all the way through. So, driver's side, I'm starting right there. I'm just sliding it. So this side shouldn't take nearly as long and I won't have to bust the paint too much down along the channel. So, learning as we go. We got the hood done. It needs to be adjusted a little bit still. But I've still got a bit of a gap down along here. So we'll see how well it seals up though. So last thing for tonight is we're gonna do the door seals. Should be pretty quick and easy. First thing you gotta do, it's hard to see here, but there's a pin that goes through this little strap. And what the strap does is it keeps the door from opening too far. So we gotta pull that pin, remove that rod, so the door will open all the way and it gives us access around to put the new seal in. 
So, out with the old and in with the new. Okay, so we've hit a bit of a snag here. Let's see if we can see this. So, we've got the corners lined up. And our corner is down here, but we've got all this extra. So it's the wrong size. So, says it fits a 65 to 71. It's Brazilian, which from what I understand just means that the rubber itself is not as thick as the German stuff. So what I think we're gonna do is we'll keep our corners and we'll trim up the left side. And we got some silica, uh, not silicone, I keep saying silicone, some uh, gasket material. And uh, we'll just use that to seal it up. Probably do a seal up here at the top. That way we know all of our corners are for sure in place. So aftermarket stuff, that's what happens. So you just gotta adapt and make it work. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we've got our gaskets trimmed and we've got the, uh, I'm gonna get this right, gasket sealer material down inside there. That's just gonna hold the two pieces together at the seam. But we went all the way around, we got the corners in. And that's the most important part. So we're gonna have a little seam down here at the bottom and one more up on the inside. But that gives us a good door seal all the way around. I did not glue in any other pieces of it yet. Seems to be a pretty good fit other than it being too big. So if I find that it's starting to pull out, then uh, I will definitely put some sealant in there to keep it in place. I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, do the one door. And uh, we'll call it a night. It's getting pretty late. We'll pick it back up tomorrow. Hello, I'm Sonnet. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. There you go. Grab it by the long piece, the handle. Now tw there you twist. There you go. Now let him. There you go. What are you doing, Sonnet? Doing the bug. What are you putting in? Seat belts, as you can see. Seat belts, as we can see. What kind of tool do you have right there? Um. It's a ratchet. A ratchet. There you go. All right. You're done with that one. We'll start you on the other side. Okay? Yeah. All right.